Hey guys, uh, so this is my completely set up big Sportjak 213. I bought the boat last year and uh, over the time I had in winter I built the Bimini and got everything else together that I want to take with me on future trips and that I think I'm gonna use and need when I'm on the boat. So today I'm going to show you what I have on there, what I'm taking with me, what I use the things for. Just a complete setup tour. First of all I'm going to start with what I have in here. Now in the back I have a cooler for food and drinks. Uh, over here I have my shoes, there's a little bit of space there. Then I have this big box which I use for the most important stuff. Turning around. I have my seat, nothing fancy, just a seat, my backpack, smaller backpack, sleeping bag, and a plastic tarp, just for, I don't know, you might need that. Now my oars are in the tie down position, um, I have an angle, that was terrible, no it's called a fishing rod. In English. I have a fishing rod right here and I have some fenders in the rear which you can't see. Oh and I also have my machete right here so now that you roughly know what is where I'm gonna start going over the individual things okay so starting in the back I have some stuff that will probably not be in any box or pocket, including a map I made of where we drive our boats or have our tours, my Bluetooth music box, um, this is just a protective top for the, for the fishing rod, and my old phone which I just use as a Bluetooth MP3 player. Now here in the rear I have my cooler, there's nothing fancy about it, right now it is filled with empty bottles. Just so it keeps its shape because it doesn't do that very well on its own. Later on there will be some water in there, some food and some other drinks, maybe some cool soda. Um, so that's, that's my cooler. Now moving on forward I have this box I've just shown you before. And in here I have this very handy top compartment which I can take out or put in or just keep in, however I like. Now in here I have a small as bit stove just like that as well as a jet lighter measuring tape some small string, a few rubbers now if I have some fishing stuff right here, right here, and uh, over here are screws for the GoPro accessories, some sweets, uh, a lot of carabiners, some aluminum tra trays for the fuel for the spit burner or cooker or whatever you want to call it, stove, that's what I prefer, so it doesn't get all dirty and gunked up. Then I have this very handy little lighter right here, which is empty, doesn't work right now but it has a pretty good working very well pretty bright it's a good flashlight in there over here I have my fire steel and a multi-tool as well as some smaller tools like some screwdrivers that covers the top moving on here's the tray I've got the map again. Now here is where it gets interesting. I've got a thermometer, a pair of well glasses, not really there. They don't work that well, but it's nice to have them. Some string, a knife. Simple, just knife. Then I have a completely waterproof phone case for my actual phone that I'm using. Um, 
I have this very nice horn which is extremely loud some sunscreen a book never know when you need that and just some first aid this is the tray you just put that down right there now in here I have a big bungee cord which I use to tie this thing down in sleep mode I use these ropes and connector hooks to tie my boat to anything that I have to when I'm anchoring anywhere. I have a sponge to clean my boat and to get water out of it. Just some fishing line, you never know when you need that. Um, electric lights. Paracord. More first aid. Some stronger rope, just like here, and all the way down there. I also have my folding shovel or toilet, whichever way you want to see it. I'm just using it to dig holes to do my business, so that's why that thing is in there. Yeah, that's a big box. everything inside yeah let's move on to the seat okay so now moving further back we have the seat this is just a cheap garden seat I bought at my local market uh, yeah nothing fancy about it I cut the legs shorter and made some ridges so that it sits in the boat nicely now in here I have a small charger power bank and three of these two meter long LED stripes which work really great they light my boat up way better than these light bulbs I have in my big box do and that's it for this case now right here I have my backpack Second. I have my backpack which I use to put my clothes in change to change I have a big towel in here and a cotton sleeping mattress which is really great I love this thing and that thing if I don't inflate the head it fits perfectly into my boat that's the reason for this thing nothing more in there then this is my electric electronics bag it's not in it right now but there will be all of the GoPro accessories phones my solar charger everything that I need will be in that bag that has to do with electronics so yeah that is it for the smaller stuff inside now there are a couple things left on the bigger scale the next thing are my pool noodle fenders now excuse me I have these things and they worked great for protecting the frame of my boat from damage but these parts just protrude out way too far for these things. That's why I have those big blue things in the rear. Now I made them with the intention of tying them onto the side. Now because I can only anchor, oh, I don't know how you call it, just my boat onto the wall on one side, I made only two of them. You tie them around here and you hook this carabiner underneath the knot which is in here, which makes this one be on the right height. Now taking the other one, putting it on here without using the knot allows me to have both hang on the right height so that I have way more than enough protection against any wall that my boat could lie against so that I don't have to worry about anything scraping or breaking eventually and that is really really great now I have installed my solar panel up here this is what that looks like here are the rubber cords just clipped into the front tightener of my Vimini it's working great so far now 
I have my two meter long cable plugged into here. Just runs around here. It's all the long way down. Ooh, right to my music box, which is not charging right now because I don't have enough sunlight. It might be bright, but it ain't bright enough. Now I showed you this string before. Put it down there in my C box. Now I'm gonna show you what that is for because as you might be able to guess, uh, if it should start to rain, the whole front of my boat is uncovered. Now this plastic tarp down there is not to protect anything from rain. That's not the intention behind there. Uh, as you might be able to tell, there is something rolled up right there. Um, and that is what will cover the whole front. Let me show you right now. and take these things and roll them over here where I have some more plastic clips and I just connect this thing like that and like that there you go the front is completely covered I can still see through it and because this part of the turf goes over top, no rain can go inside. This is also part of the sleeping adjustment. Uh, if I'm sleeping in the boat, this thing will be installed. Just so I have a little bit more privacy and it doesn't feel so open. Uh, just let me show you on one side. I take this rubber out. Roll it down, it lies nice over top, it lays nice over top and it just completely closes it off. So there is absolutely no possibility rain could get into here at all. Now the back is also, ah, let me show you. If you look at the back, the Bimini just overlaps the boat by a couple of 20 centimeters, I don't know. That is more than enough to stop just normal rain from going in. If it gets too worse, I can still use the tarp I have up front to put that in here, or just a towel, anything that just closes it off anymore. Yeah. This is my clear front. Okay, so now I have transformed my boat into sleep mode. Uh, everything I did is possible from inside the boat. There is no need to get out of the boat and into the water or uh, to pull the boat onto land or anything. Now as you can see I've rolled up the floor of the boat on the side there. I have not yet inflated my air mattress because I actually still have to buy uh, a small air pump. I don't own one right now. So uh, I've always just used the pumps my buddies had with them. So that's something I still have to do. Now uh, I didn't unroll the sleeping bag because this would just be a little bit bothersome right now. Um, there's my seat. It's tied down. It's not right now, but it will be when I'm actually going to sleep. This is just to show you right now. Now this is actually how my rowers are going to be placed when I'm sleeping. Um, of course, this is the side that will be closer to shore, or in the case that I actually have to sleep next to a wall, this will be the side that I'm going to be sleeping on. Uh, it is that way because all of the heavy stuff is on one side and I'm sleeping on the other. Uh, yeah. Here you can see how I use the bungee cord to actually attach my big box side of the boat. In the rear, uh, I'm going to use this thing as uh, sort of a headrest. Uh, it will be underneath the mattress at night. And of course I remove this thing again because it's always a pain in the butt.
to install everything when that is down. It won't be when I'm on the water because that would just be awesome, but for now it's just easier that way. And it is far easier for you to see. Yeah, so this is the boat in sleep mode. It is. I can sleep in here no problemo. It is uh, definitely big enough. I'm just going to put this outside. Of course, I would be laying inside. Now I can just put my foot up there. These strings just kind of help to keep me down so I'm not accidentally hitting into my vinyl. I can just lay down. Now, if you're claustrophobic, this might not be the best for you because it is. There's no denying, it is tight. It's not much space, but for me personally, it is enough to sleep in. So, I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with this. Now, uh, of course, like I said already, the sides will be rolled down, the front will be closed off, the rear will stay open, um, at least when, when there's good weather. When it should start raining, I still have my plastic tarp and my towel, which I can totally just put right up under there. I don't even need to tie it down or anything, it will just hold by itself. Yeah, this is the way I put my boat. I arrange my boat to be... Yeah, yeah, arrange my boat is good. When I'm sleeping. And... Now you will see this whole setup in action. Just so I can show you that I'm actually being serious. And I'm just not, not just saying that it is all working from in the boat. I will, when we're doing the tour where I sleep in it, I will definitely record everything. I will probably just make a time lapse from me setting everything up from inside the boat so uh, you can see how I do this when I'm on the water I'm curious to see how well the boat is going to sit on the water because I'm not quite sure if all of this weight on one side is uh, going to be a problem and if I am actually enough of a counterweight just so the boat sits in the water evenly but uh, I guess we'll all see about we will all see about that in a couple of weeks so, yeah, let's get to the outro. Okay, so this is my boat setup. This is everything I have in here for now. Uh, I hope you liked the video. And uh, now we get to the announcement. I'm planning to make videos over the course of the summer. Um, I want to basically turn this into a project of recording the most interesting things we do. Uh, we have some pretty cool stuff planned. And um, the idea behind this is, uh, this is my last... Children, aren't they wonderful? This is my last summer vacation I'm gonna have. Um, I turn 19 in a few days and after finishing school I have these six weeks that I can do whatever I want before I have to start, well, working. And everyone who works will know this, uh, you don't usually get six weeks off at a time. So this is gonna be my last summer vacation, holidays, whatever you wanna call them, wherever you live. So. I want to make this the best time ever uh, for me and my buddies and the idea is that we just yeah we go out with our boats uh, we go out by bike we just do awesome stuff I record that and upload it to YouTube um, my original idea is to do this project more for myself than for well, the internet. I see how that goes. Of course, anyone can watch this. So, yeah. If you watch this and some videos are already out and you like them, well, then it worked. If not, well, there will definitely be some videos. Uh, now, this is not going to be a vlog thing. Of course, when we do something awesome, I'm going to a video log. But I don't. 
I'm not gonna do daily vlogs or anything like that. It's like I said, just the most interesting, the most crazy things that we're gonna do that I'm gonna film, record and well put on YouTube. And yeah. That is it for for now. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe you want to subscribe, I don't know. That's up to you. So yeah. See you in the summer. <laughs>